Numerous eyes on the square were stunned as they looked at the man, who had suddenly barged in and grabbed Yun Yun's hand. In an instant, the entire place actually became quiet. Everyone looked at each other and were somewhat uncertain of the reason for this occurrence. You, Xiao Yin, why are you here? Yun Yun's face was red from embarrassment. She also also somewhat stunned as she stared at the young man wearing a teasing smile on his face beside her. A moment later, she finally involuntarily cried out loud. You can't expect me to simply stand idly by the side if you are in trouble, right? Xiao Yin observed this peerless beauty in front of him. There was an additional unconscious gentleness in his voice. It is Yin Ran? Yun Yun was slightly startled before she comprehended the situation. Immediately, she sensed the heat that was transmitted from her hand. She hurriedly pulled her hand out from Xiao Yan's palm with a beautiful red face and spoke in a somewhat cautious manner. This is the flower sect. How can you simply recklessly barge in? You have already hid from me so many years. It should be enough, no? Xiao Yan smiled slightly and said, who is hiding from you? Who is the one who has come? Tell me your name. You actually dare barge into my flower sect? That graceful clothed woman focused her eyes onto Xiao Yin and cried out coldly. From this manner, it seemed that this young man was a helper that Yun Yun had found. You can treat me as Yun Yun's companion. Xiao Yin glanced at the gracefully clothed woman and spoke in a casual manner. Yun Yun's face reddened upon hearing these words of Xiao Yin. She looked at the latter in an embarrassed and angry manner. However, Xiao Yin ignored her. His eyes merely stared at those two people on the opposite side. Someone with a mere two-star Dozun strength also dares to act arrogantly here. This venerable self thinks that you are tired of living. The evil-looking man beside the gracefully clothed woman gently flapped the foldable fan in his hand. A chillness, however, surged within his eyes. The intimate act between Xiao Yin and Yun Yun caused his heart to feel somewhat displeased. Yun Yun, you have said yourself that you do not have a companion. Yet, you end up being unable to help yourself and have called someone over, huh? The gracefully clothed woman laughed coldly. It's just as well. You can call if you like. Otherwise, you might end up saying that this chief is bullying you. Today, I'll allow you and this little fellow to fight together. If you are defeated, you will hand over the Do Chi from the previous sect chief. Yun Yun knitted her brows when she heard this. She did not wish to drag Xiao Yin into this internal fight within the flower sect. She took a step forward and was just about to speak when Xiao Yin by the side stopped her. Leave it to me. Yun Yun was startled when she heard the calm tone of Xiao Yin. Her pretty eyes observed the young man beside her and saw the firm lines on the side of his face. An absent-mindedness appeared within her heart. After having not met him for a couple of years, the current Xiao Yin was no longer the tender youth from back then. Currently, the latter also possessed quite a strong reputation even within the central plains, which was filled with experts. The present him already truly possessed the qualification and strength to stand in front of her hand block all the storms. Yes. Some words lingered on her mouth for a moment. In the end, it finally transformed into a low and submissive voice. There is naturally no problem if you wish to have a match. However, the stakes of this match appears a little too laughable. If you win, you will end up getting the inherited Do Chi of Yun Yun. However, if you lose, you will not lose anything. Do you think that there's such good things in this world? Xiao Yin demanded faintly. The gracefully clothed woman narrowed her eyes. She coldly laughed. If this chief loses, Yun Yun can safely leave the flower sect. No one will pester her. If it is only like this, there is no need for this match. Xiao Yan's expression turned slightly cold as he said, You dare. What do you treat my flower sect as a place you can come and leave as you please? The graceful clothed woman's expression changed when she saw this. She cried out furiously, Even if you can leave the flower sect today, 
you will be chased after by the flower sect for the rest of your life. If you dare, you can come and chase me all the way to the Falling Star Pavilion. Xiao Yin did not give in when faced with the furious cry of this gracefully clothed woman's threat. He merely laughed coldly. Falling Star Pavilion? That gracefully clothed woman was startled when she heard this. Her expression immediately changed a little as she spoke in a disturbed manner. You are someone from the Falling Star Pavilion? The flower sect had also heard about the matter of the Falling Star Pavilion producing an elite bansheng. With an expert of that class present, the Falling Star Pavilion need not be afraid of the flower sect with its strength. Moreover, no one would forget that the elite bansheng of the Falling Star Pavilion was also a top alchemist on the Dochi continent. I am Xiao Yin. My teacher is Yao Chun. Before I left, teacher has instructed me to represent his elderly self to greet the elders of the flower sect should I end up meeting them. Xiao Yin suddenly raised his eyes. He looked towards the lush green mountain range around the flower sect. His loud cry spread while containing some Do Qi before resounding continuously within the entire place. Ever since he had stepped into the flower sect, Xiao Yin could vaguely sense that there were some hidden auras present within the mountain range. These auras were all extremely powerful. It was likely that they should belong to some experts from the older generation in the flower sect, who do not show themselves. Xiao Yin might not be afraid of the other experts from the flower sect. However, he must be cautious of these old demons. Xiao Yin? That gracefully clothed woman and the Yaohua Longjuan's expression changed slightly when they heard Xiao Yin announce his name. They did not expect that Xiao Yin would actually possess such a background. Those flower sect's disciples from the surrounding square also conversed privately amongst themselves. Numerous curious eyes gathered onto Xiao Yin. The flower sect only had female disciples. They were naturally interested in a young and outstanding man like Lin Dong. It is actually Yao Qin's disciple. That old fellow is really considerate. If I have time in the future, I will definitely visit the Falling Star Pavilion. Soon after Xiao Yan's loud cry sounded, a somewhat hoarse elderly voice was slowly emitted from within the mountain range. Finally, it resounded over the square. Xiao Yin cupped his hands together respectfully in the direction where the voice originated from. After which, his eyes turned towards the capricious, gracefully clothed woman and laughed faintly. Hua Jin, since Mr. Xiao Yin has a request, let's listen to him. An elderly woman towards the north of the square slowly opened her mouth and said, From her dressing, she should be an elder of the flower sect. Moreover, her status seemed to be quite great. Hearing this, the gracefully clothed woman called Hua Jin could only clench her teeth unwillingly. She said, If you have some words to say, just say them quickly. If we end up losing this match, the Dochi inheritance within Yun Yun's body will be handed to you. If your side loses, the position of the flower sect chief will be handed to Yun Yun. Xiao Yin said, So you are after my position as the chief of the flower sect. Hua Jin's expression was dark and cold as she laughed furiously. Xiao Yin, I am not interested in being the sect chief. Do not add any more trouble. Yun Yun by the side also hurriedly said, Granny Hua has originally transferred the position of sect chief to Yun Yun. Yet, you have shamelessly snatched the jade tablet representing the sect chief. Currently, she is merely just taking back the thing that Granny Hua has given her. Xiao Yin laughed coldly. You, what a sharp-tongued brat. The expression of Hua Jin gradually became icy cold when she saw Xiao Yin acting in such an unceremonious manner. However, she did not respond. She was only an acting sect chief. Honestly speaking, not many elders within the sect supported her. If it was not because she had been groomed by Granny Hua back then for over a decade, it was likely that it would not even be her turn to take this acting sect chief spot. If anything unexpected really occurred this time around, it was likely that the position would really not have any relation to her. 
Damn old woman, I have followed you for over a decade. Don't tell me that cannot surpass the three years this slut stayed with you? A fury burned within Hua Jin's heart along with her sense of reasoning when she thought of how Granny Hua had left the greatest treasure to Yun Yun. Hua Jin inhaled a deep breath of air. She suppressed the fury within her heart. Her eyes suddenly turned towards Yao Hua Yang Jun beside her. The latter was the stronger between the two. Everything would be determined by what he thought. Yao Hua Yang Jun glanced indifferently at Xiao Yin, appearing to be aware of what Hua Jin was thinking in her heart. The fan in his hand was flapped slowly. He had also heard some rumors about Xiao Yin. However, rumors was after all rumors. They were usually exaggerated. Moreover, with his six-star Dozun strength, there were hardly anyone, even within this flower sect, who could beat him. Regardless of how great Xiao Yin was, he merely had the strength of a two-star Dozun. It was not so easy to surpass this four-star difference. Yao Hua Yang Jun nodded when he thought of this. His eyes paused on Xiao Yin as he calmly said, Since you have such a request, we will do as you say. You can be rest assured that this venerable self will ensure that you remain alive on account of Yao Qin's face. Xiao Yin finally smiled slightly when he heard this. He turned his head and softly spoke to Yun Yun. You should step back a little. I will take care of it. You? You alone? Yun Yun was startled. Her face was filled with surprise. The other party had a six-star Dozun and a four-star Dozun. Xiao Yin was merely a two-star Dozun. Was he not seeking death by fighting against the two of them alone? You have only just gained the strength of a Dozun, and you have yet to refine that inherited Do Qi. You will definitely be no match for them if you fight. Relax, it will be over soon. Xiao Yin spoke softly. He could sense the terrifying Do Qi within Yun Yun's body. However, this Do Qi was not something that she could control at this moment. Her own strength was definitely insufficient to be a match for that Hua Jin. Yun Yun looked at Xiao Yin somewhat doubtfully. However, due to her trust in the latter, she did not open her mouth again. She could only nod slowly and took a step back. Xiao Yin stepped forward when he saw Yun Yun step back. Dense white flame slowly lingered within his eyes. A frightening temperature spread out, causing the entire place to immediately become hot. Since all of you have come to an agreement, let the match begin. An elder from the flower sect waved her sleeve and cried out loudly when she saw the tensed swords drawn atmosphere. After the voice of that elder from the flower sect sounded, an icy cold smile was lifted onto Yao Hua Yangjuan's face. Her toes pressed on the ground, and her body rushed towards Xiao Yin in a ghost like manner. Vast and mighty Do Qi spread out in all directions. This venerable self shall see just how much of Yao Qin's ability does his disciple have. Xiao Yin's shoulders shook as he watched Yao Hua Yangjun rushing over explosively. Green red bone wings appeared. Both of the wings were flapped and his body rushed towards the sky. That frightening speed directly caused Yao Hua Yangjuan's attack to completely miss. What a fast speed! Yao Hua Yangjuan's expression changed slightly after he missed. Immediately, his eyes looked at Xiao Yin, who was suspended in the sky, in an icy cold manner. He spoke indifferently. Does Yao Qin only teach you how to run? There is no need for you to be worried about this. Xiao Yin smiled. He waved his sleeve and eleven puppets appeared in a flash. A formation was created. After the energy transmission, the sky demon puppet's body quickly became brilliant in color. The moon puppet, huh? Hua Jin, you should go and seal with Yun Yun. Leave this brat to me. A disdain flashed across Yao Hua Yangjuan's eyes when he saw this puppet. He turned his head towards Hua Jin and cried out. Understood. Hua Jin nodded. She immediately turned her cold, smiling eyes towards Yun Yun. Her strength was around that of a four-star Dozun, while Yun Yun was merely a one-star Dozun. There was a huge gap between the two. 
Finishing off the ladder was merely something that would end within a couple of exchanges. Slut, this chief shall see just which part of you have caught the eye of that old woman. A jealous hatred flashed across Hua Jin's eyes. She turned her delicate waist and directly rushed over towards Yun Yun. Majestic Dou Chi surge out in all directions. Chi, golden light tore through the sky. Before that Hua Jin could appear in front of Yun Yun, a strong figure had descended from the sky. A fist that contained a terrifying wind smashed towards the former's head without any mercy. Clang! This sudden fight also caused Hua Jin's expression to change a little. A wave of Dou Chi erupted from her palm and violently collided with that golden fist. Immediately, clear metallic collision sound appeared. Puppet! The frightening force caused Hua Jin to be shaken until she took two continuous steps back. She swept her eyes across and focused them onto the golden figure in front of her. Hua Jin, you should just focus on dealing with that puppet. I will capture this brat first. That puppet will automatically stop after that. Yao Hualiang Jun in the sky turned his dense cold eyes towards Xiao Yin in the midair. The foldable fan on his hand suddenly unleashed a deep green light. The fan was waved and one could hear a wild wind spreading over the sky. Enormous wind blades tore past the sky and rushed towards Xiao Yin from all directions. Xiao Yin smiled faintly as he watched those wind blades rushing over. The bone wings on his back flapped and his frightening speed allowed him to pull back by a thousand feet, easily dodging Yao Hual Yang Jun's attack in the process. With the 3,000 lightning movement activated to its limit along with the strengthening by the bone wings, Xiao Yan's speed had already reached quite a frightening level. This battle must end quickly. Xiao Yan slowly inhaled a deep breath of air when he dodged the attack by Yao Hua Yang Jun. Both of his hands suddenly formed numerous unusual seals. While his hand seals flew, numerous hot fire pillars also shot out from his body towards the sky. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change First Change Second change. Third change. Three stern cries sounded. Xiao Yan's aura had directly soared in front of many stunned gazes. Within a blink of an eye, it had already reached the four-star Dozun level. After unleashing the Skyfire three mysterious change until its limit, Xiao Yan did not halt immediately. His hand was clenched. Three clusters of flames appeared within his hand. Soon after, he hesitated for a moment before opening his mouth and spitting out a cluster of dense white flame. The appearance of four types of heavenly flame in the sky also caused the temperature of this entire place to be raised instantly. Some cold perspiration had appeared on the faces of quite a number of people. Even Dochi was unable to completely isolate such a temperature. Yao Hua Yangjuan's expression changed a little when he saw the four types of heavenly flames suspended in front of Xiao Yin. Finally, he felt a little uneasy. With his eyesight, he was naturally able to tell that these four types of flames were definitely the most terrifying heaven flames in this world. However, the thing that surprised him was that Xiao Yin's body could actually possess four types of heavenly flames at the same time. Was it not the case that only one of such thing could exist within a person's body? I cannot continue to allow this little brat to continue unleashing it. Yao Hua Yang Jun did not plan to give Xiao Yin any time to prepare despite his uncertainty. Light erupted from the fan in his hand. His body was suddenly enlarged by a couple of times. Both of his hands held the fan and violently swung it in the air. Great splitting wind. The cry had just sounded when numerous dark black crack lines were immediately formed on the space in front of the large fan. These crack lines were just like invisible spatial poisonous snakes. They rushed out through the empty space with lightning-like speed before finally headed towards Xiao Yin in the distance in a ruthless manner. Xiao Yin was unconcerned with the attack by Yao Hua Yang Jun. His bone wings were flapped continuously. Numerous afterimages were suspended in the sky. 
That actual body of his was hidden under the afterimage, causing Yao Hua Yangjuan's attack to be unable to find a target. Qi. During the time that Xiao Yin was dodging, the four types of heavenly flames in front of Xiao Yin also rapidly merged together. With his current ability, there were only two ways for him to end this battle quickly. It was either the Annihilation Lotus Flame or the Great Heaven Creation Palm. From the perspective of the current Xiao Yin, who could easily control the bone-chilling flame, the former was undoubtedly an easier option. This was because he would no longer require a long time to brew before unleashing it like before. The fire cluster continued to swell and shrink in Xiao Yan's palm. Wave after wave of unusually wild and violent how energy also slowly spread, causing the energy of the entire world to become violent. Yao Hualyang Jun, who had sensed this scene, finally changed his expression drastically. From the appearance of this manner of his, everyone knew that Xiao Yin was preparing a great killing weapon. Do you only know how to hide? Although he was aware that Xiao Yin was preparing a great killing weapon, Yao Hualyang Jun was completely unable to compare with the former's speed. Immediately, his face became usually green as he roared furiously. However, Xiao Yin completely ignored his furious roar. He split his attention. On one hand, he was dodging Yao Hua Yangjuan's attack. On the other, he was agglomerating the fire lotus and maintaining its equilibrium. Quite a number of elders from the flower sect faced each other as they looked at the endless chase in the sky. Although the strength of Yao Hua Yangjun surpassed Xiao Yin, he was still fooled by the latter until his face turned ashen. With their eyesight, they were naturally able to tell that Xiao Yin was gathering an extremely frightening energy in his hand. Should this energy completely explode, it was likely that Yao Hua Yang Jun would end up in quite a miserable state, even with his strength. He is indeed worthy of being Yao Qin's disciple. By relying on a two star Do Zun strength, he is actually able to cause a six-star elite Dozun to be helpless. Yun Yun on the square also had a startled expression on her face as she watched the afterimages that repeatedly flashed and appeared in the sky, as well as the furious roar of Yao Hua Yang Jun. It was difficult to imagine that the latter was actually unable to deal with Xiao Yin. Given his strength, this fellow has improved really quickly. Yun Yun softly muttered. Her expression was a little complicated. When she met Xiao Yin for the first time, the latter was merely a youth who had just advanced to the Doshir class. Yet, that small Doshir from back then currently already possessed the ability to fool an elite six star Dozun. Bastard. Yao Qin has really lose his face in having a disciple like you. The chase continued for nearly ten minutes. Yao Hua Yang Jun who had gained nothing, had a face that was so gloomy that it was terrifying. A roar continued to resound across the sky. This manner of which he had lost himself caused quite a number of flower sect disciples to secretly extend their tongues. It was unexpected that this elegant and refined Yao Hua Yang Jun would actually be this terrifying when he was angry. Qi, Xiao Yin, who had never stopped in the sky, suddenly halted. His eyes were indifferent as he watched the roaring Yao Hua Yang Jun. He smiled slightly and softly said, Have you had enough chasing? If that is the case, it will be my turn. After uttering those words, the cluster of flame in Xiao Yan's palm churned slowly. Immediately, a palm-sized exquisite fire lotus slowly surfaced from within the cluster of flame. The moment the fire lotus appeared, the energy of this entire place emitted a buzzing sound and shook. Wave after wave of destructive aura spread out from within the fire lotus, causing the space around Xiao Yin to break amidst some cracking sound. What frightening energy! Upon sensing the terror of this energy, the expressions of those elders from the flower sect changed. They hurriedly beckoned with their hands. Dochi spluttered out. Immediately, they joined hands and built an unusually strong dochi barrier around the square. 
The frightening amount of energy within the fire lotus was also sensed by Yao Hua Yangjun. Immediately, his face became extremely ugly. Although he was also aware that Xiao Yin was preparing a great killing weapon, he did not expect that this great killing weapon would actually reach such a level. That kind of annihilation energy caused even him to be afraid. How is this possible? This brat only possessed the strength of a two-star Dozun. Even though he had used a secret technique, he is merely at the four-star level. How is it possible that he can unleash an attack of this level? Brat, you should not be so pleased this soon. This venerable self is not someone easy to deal with. Yao Hualiang Jun clenched his teeth tightly. His expression was gloomy. A moment later, he inhaled a deep breath of air and halted his chasing figure. Seals were swiftly formed by his hand. Majestic Do Chi surged out explosively from within his body. Immediately, it gathered into a thousand feet large giant. This giant was completely formed using Do Chi. Vast and might Do Chi flowed endlessly like an ocean. Profound sky technique. Qi world transformation. Yao Hua Yangjuan's face turned pale when the giant was formed. Clearly, this act had consumed quite a terrifying amount of Do Qi. Although his expression was terrible, his gaze was unusually vicious as it stared at Xiao Yin. A somewhat hoarse, dense cry was emitted from his throat. This venerable self shall just watch whether the fire lotus that you have created after fleeing around like a rabbit for half a day, or this venerable self's Qi world transformation, is superior. The thousand feet giant stood in the sky. An ocean like vast and mighty Do Qi spread from within the body of the giant. It appeared just like a thick cloud. Wind lightning rolled while it swallowed and released. Ha! Huh. Yao Hua Yangjuan's face was pale. However, both of his eyes were completely dark and dense. His gaze locked onto Xiao Yin in the sky as his throat suddenly emitted and low cry. Go and die. The seal formed by Yao Hua Yangjuan's hand changed. The giant that stood in the sky suddenly strided forward. Following this step, a wild wind immediately blew across the entire sky. Cloud churned. Even the sky itself had fluctuated. Bang! The giant stepped forward. Its large hand appeared to firmly grab onto the naturally energy. Immediately, a shocking bright intense glow erupted on his fist. His large hand was swung and the space immediately split apart. Frightening wind mercilessly smashed violently towards Xiao Yin in the distant sky. This punch from the giant appeared to carry the natural energy. A ferocious hurricane formed on his hand. Even the square on the ground had formed some arm-thick crack lines because of this pressure. Such a shocking attack was indeed worthy of a six-star Do Zun class expert. Under the giant that was filled with an endless amount of pressure, Quite a number of weaker flower sect's disciples had pale faces. A battle of this level was something that they seldom saw. That frightening attack that could easily destroy an entire mountain range caused their hearts to tremble. This Yao Hualiang Jun has also used all of his strength. Some elders of the flower sect felt quietly awed in their hearts, while they continued to add Do Qi to the defense when they saw this. It was unexpected that Xiao Yin was actually able to force Yao Hua Yangjun to such an extent with his two-star Dozun strength. He was indeed worthy of being Yao Qin's disciples. Yun Yun revealed a worry on her beautiful face as she stood on the square. Although her heart believed in Xiao Yan's strength, no one could remain calm in the face of this full-force attack by Yao Hua Yangjun. Who? Xiao Yan's figure was suspended in the sky. The bone wings on his back flapped. That powerful wind pressure that was transmitted over from a great distance firmly pressed his robe until it adhered onto his body. That rushing wind sound rumbled like a thunder beside his ear, seemingly intending on shattering his eardrum. This is the full force attack of a six star Dozun, huh? Xiao Yin gently exhaled. A glint flashed across his eyes as he softly muttered to himself. Immediately, 
He slowly raised his hand, and the palm-sized annihilation fire lotus slowly rotated. This tiny, exquisite lotus flower contained a true destructive force. Go! Xiaoyan smiled slightly as he raised his hand. The fire lotus and it rushed out and immediately formed a beautiful fire tail in the midair as it charged towards the seemingly unmatched giant. Break it! Yao Hua Yang Jun did not dare to slight the fire lotus when he saw it flashing over. His hand seal changed and the giant immediately roared towards the sky. A frightening sonic wave spread and directly formed a giant hurricane. That enormous hand was clenched and it actually forcefully grabbed the hurricane. After which, it took a large stride forward in front of everyone's shocked eyes, swung the hurricane and violently smashed towards the seemingly rice grain like fire lotus. The two collided, and a momentary silence occurred. It was as though the entire world had stilled at this moment. The silence lasted for an instant before an earth-shaking explosion finally resounded over the sky in an abrupt manner. That furious thunder-like explosion shook the entire mountain range. Soon after the explosion, a firestorm swept over the sky. Under the raging firestorm, that hundred feet large giant was also torn until Dochi surged like a water pillar. However, these Dochi that had just made contact with the firestorm, however, these Dochi had just made contact with the firestorm when it was vaporized by the frightening high temperature into nothingness. Bang! The firestorm heavily collided onto the body of the giant. The vast and mighty Do Chi that was on his body also began to swiftly disappear. Bang! Xiao Yin inhaled a deep breath of hot air. His body rushed backwards, and a sharp cry was emitted from his mouth. Following this cry, the firestorm that was filled with a destructive force finally completely exploded at this moment. Bang! The frightening firestorm smashed heavily onto the giant's body. An incomparably strong force directly caused the giant to continuously step backwards. Even his body had vaguely become illusory. Bang, bang, bang. The fire wave that contained a destructive strength continuously spread apart. Terrifying high temperature directly caused all the moisture in this place to vaporize. Under the continuous attack by the fire wave, the giant's body also became increasingly illusory. At the end, it was finally exploded and turned into nothingness under this muffled sound. Puff! How is this possible? The giant was blasted apart, and a mouthful of fresh blood was spat out from Yao Hua Yangjuan's mouth. A disbelief surged within his eyes. However, he did not have any time to be shocked at this moment. The fire wave that contained a destructive force had came rushing over with lightning-like speed after forcing back the giant. If he was struck by it, it was likely Yao Hua Yang Jun would instantly be annihilated. Yao Hua Yang Jun suppressed the shock within his heart. He clenched his teeth and circulated his Dou Qi. His body transformed into a lightning that suddenly withdrew explosively. Yao Hua Yang Jun's speed was extremely quick. Within the blink of an eye, he had already broken through the Dou Qi barrier around the square. That fire wave also followed closely behind in front of the shocked gazes from the many flower sex elders. Finally, it violently collided onto the barrier. Bang! The enormous defensive barrier shook violently. Ripples spread rapidly. Fortunately, it did not collapse immediately. Those elders from the flower sect were just about to sigh in relief after seeing this when another destructive fire wave spread. It heavily struck onto the Dochi barrier like an enormous hammer. Crack! This time around, the Dochi barrier had finally reached its limit. The barrier exploded amidst a cracking sound. Having lost the obstruction of the Dochi barrier, the fire wave spread apart without any fear. Seeing this scene, the faces of those flower sex disciples around the square immediately turned pale. Ugh. However, when the fire wave was was about to spread across the enormous square, 
An elderly sigh slowly resounded over the sky. Immediately, a figure suddenly appeared in a flash. She waved her sleeve, and an invisible ripple spread. Finally, the ripple collided with the fire wave. The two energies eroded each other before slowly being destroyed. First Elder Seeing this figure, who had suddenly intervened, the faces of some of the elders from the flower sect revealed a joyous expression. Xiao Yin, are you planning to destroy my flower sect? That white-haired old woman, who had suddenly appeared in the sky, looked towards Xiao Yin in the distance and spoke somewhat helplessly. The pale-faced Xiao Yin was somewhat embarrassed when he heard this. He could sense the frightening strength of this white-haired old woman. Immediately, he ceased daring to act impudent. He cupped his hands together and said, The situation leaves me with no choice. I hope that Elder will not blame me. After uttering these words, he took out a couple of medicinal pills from his storage ring and stuffed them into his mouth. Subsequently, he turned his eyes towards Hua Jin. At this moment, the latter's face was filled with horror. The eyes, which she used to look at Xiao Yin, appeared as though they had seen a ghost. She had never expected that Xiao Yin would actually be able to unleash a frightening attack that even Yao Hua Yang Jun was unable to receive. Qi, Yao Hua Yang Jun's miserable figure, had once again rushed back from the distance. His expression was dark and gloomy as he stood in the sky. It was still possible to see a trace of blood on the corner of his mouth. He understood that he had already left the area of the square and had lost the right to compete. In other words, he, Yao Hua Yinjuan, was defeated in the hands of a mere two star Do Zun in front of so many people today. The corner of Yao Hua Yangjuan's mouth twitched slightly. His face was so gloomy that it was frightening. Those gazes that were shot over from all over the place were just like needles that pierced into him, causing his entire body to feel terrible. Xiao Yin glanced at Yao Hua, Liang Jun in the distance from the sky. He ignored the latter and slowly landed from the sky. Without saying anything, he glanced at Hua Jin a short distance away and rubbed his hands in front of him. For heavenly flames once again appeared in front of him. I admit defeat. Seeing the four types of flames appearing once again, the originally pale expression of Hua Jin turned ghastly white. Even Yao Hua Yang Jun, someone with a six-star Do Zun strength, was unable to receive it. If she was at the receiving end, it was likely that she would not even be able to escape. Hence, she hurriedly screamed. Xiao Yin smiled faintly upon hearing her scream. He opened his mouth and swallowed the four types of heavenly flames into his body. With his current strength, he did not possess the ability to continuously use the Annihilation Fire Lotus twice. It appeared that this woman was frightened by Yao Hua Yangjuan's fate. The many elders from the Flower Sect shook their heads slightly when they saw Hua Jin admit defeat. The match today was really a joke. A four-star Do Zun and a six-star Do Zun were defeated in the hands of a two-star Do Zun. If this matter was to spread, it would really be a source of a joke. I have not disappointed. Xiao Yin turned his head. He looked towards Yun Yun, who had widened her red lips and had a stunned expression on her pretty face. After which, he coughed softly and laughed. You still like to act bravely? Yun Yun watched Xiao Yan's face that also contained a paleness. She involuntarily glared at him. Her tone had some reprimand and a different kind of joy. That first elder from the flower sect in the sky also gently sighed. His eyes turned towards Hua Jin and spoke faintly. Since you have lost, hand the jade token of the chief to Yun Yun. Hua Jin's hand was immediately clenched tightly when she heard this. However, she could not eat her words in public. Immediately, she could only clench her teeth and took out the jade token from her storage ring before ruthlessly throwing it towards Yun Yun. The first elder of the flower sect turned her eyes towards Yun Yun. She smilingly said, I trust the eyes of the previous chief. Yun Yun, in the future, you will be the next chief of the flower sect? 
Yun Yun did not extend her hand to receive the chief's jade token as she watched it being suspended in front of her. She was really not interested in this sect chief position. Moreover, due to the shadows from those matters back then, the thing that she was most unwilling to do was to be some chief of a sect. Take it. Xiao Yin urged when he saw the hesitation on Yun Yun's face. It was still all right if he did not open his mouth. The moment he did so, however, Yun Yun could not resist glaring at him. She gritted her silver teeth and said, Receive it? And allow you to try and act mightily again? Xiao Yin was involuntarily a little embarrassed when he heard this. He said, It has been so many years, yet you still remember these matters. No one was right or wrong in the incident back then. Although I have destroyed the Misty Cloud sect, the Misty Cloud sect has also caused my Shao clan to suffer great losses. I am aware that this matter is unrelated to you, but I must still account for certain things. I do not know about all of these great reasons. Yun Yun's eyes reddened a little when she mentioned this matter. She was also aware that Xiao Yin was not wrong in that matter when looking from his perspective. However, the Misty Cloud sect was after all a place that had groomed her for many years. Yet, it was disbanded back then just because this fellow had said so. If you wish to find a quiet place to stay, you will not achieve true peace by living under someone else like in the past. Additionally, you have received the inheritance of Granny Hua. If you do not take this position, it will end up causing the flower sect to ultimately descend into an internal fight. I think that Granny Hua would be unwilling to see such a thing, right? Xiao Yin asked softly. Yun Yun was startled. She hesitated for a moment before finally nodding her head. After which, she raised her head and looked towards the white-haired old woman in the sky. She spoke respectfully, First Elder. Yun Yun can temporarily take the position of the sect chief. You can just inform me if you feel that there is a more suitable person. Ha ha, you can be rest assured that this old woman greatly trusts the eyes of the previous sect chief. Since she had passed on all her Do Chi to you, it is likely that you are the perfect candidate in her heart. The white-haired old woman laughed. Hua Jin's face became dark and volatile when she heard the words of this old woman. A moment later, she spoke in a deep voice, First Elder, I have worked hard for many years in order to get the profound sky sect to show signs of joining hands with our flower sect. Now that the sect chief is changed and that Xiao Yin had even injured Yao Yang lover, I think that this cooperation will not only end but the profound sky sect would also not let this matter rest, given the way they do things. The threat in Hua Jin's words were also quite obvious. If the chief was changed to Yun Yun, not only would they be unable to cooperate with the Profound Sky sect, but it would instead cause the Profound Sky to view the Flower sect with enmity. The white-haired old woman knitted her brows slightly. Although the Flower sect and Profound Sky sect were equally ranked as the two sects, the former's strength was not as strong as the latter. Additionally, the Profound Sky Sect was really too strong. It had been expanding rapidly during these years. The sect had numerous number of experts. An ordinary faction would not dare to offend them even a little. This Yao Hualyang Jun was a member of the Profound Sky Sect. Originally, they planned on getting Yao Hualyang Jun and Hua Jin to marry to improve the relationship between both sects and hence form an alliance. The Flower Sect and the Profound Sky Sect might be called the Two Sects, but there were many factions on the Central Plains which could match these two sections. However, these factions did not wish to be as publicized as them. Nevertheless, the foundation of these sects would not be any weaker than the Two Sects. If one accompanies a tiger, one will ultimately end up being its meal. Xiao Yin smiled slightly. He ignored Yao Hua Yangjuan's densely cold eyes as he spoke faintly, First Elder, I think that you should be clearer than me when it comes to the way the Profound Sky sect does things. If the two sects form an alliance, it is likely very difficult for a true equilibrium to be reached. Sooner or later, a situation where the guest will try to take over the position of the owner will occur. At that time, 
The Flower Sect will likely become another branch sect of the Profound Sky Sect. Xiao Yin, you should stop uttering nonsense. Hua Jin cried out. Her expression changed upon hearing this. Xiao Yin completely ignored this woman. His eyes looked towards the white-haired old woman and said, If First Elder do not mind, my Falling Star Pavilion can perhaps be a reliable ally of the Flower Sect in the future. I'm sure that First Elder will not have any doubt given the trustworthiness of my teacher, right? Kuku, Yao Zunjia's reputation is extremely great, who in the Central Plains do not know about his trustworthiness. Naturally, no one can doubt him. The white-haired old woman smiled. Immediately, she nodded. Her eyes were a little stern as she looked towards Hua Jin. She spoke in a deep voice. From now onwards, Yun Yun is the chief of the flower sect. There shall be no more argument. This first elder had made up her mind once Xiao Yan's words sounded. If it was in the past, a falling star pavilion did not possess the weight to cause her to ignore everything else. However, things were currently different. The falling star pavilion had produced an elite band Shang like Yao Chan. Its strength would definitely soar. At that time, even the profound sky sect will not dare to do anything to it. One was an old faction which had some ill intentions and would sooner or later bite at them. Another was a new and rising faction that possessed an enormous potential and trustworthiness. It was actually not difficult to choose between the two. Seeing the white-haired old woman hardening her heart with the intention of allowing Yun Yun to be the sect chief, the expression of Hua Jin also became ugly. However, she did not continue to say anything. She also understood that it was pointless to say anything now. Since First Elder has made such a choice, this venerable self can only hope that you will not end up regretting in the future. Yao Hua Yangjuan's expression was also quite ugly. Today, he had not only lost face but had even ruined a big matter. It would definitely not be easy for him to report this matter when he returned this time around. You need not be concerned about this matter. The white-haired old woman waved her hand and spoke faintly. The corner of Yao Hua Yangjuan's mouth twitched slightly. The matter had already been decided, and it was pointless for him to remain here and embarrass himself. Immediately, he swung his sleeve, turned around and rushed out of the flower sect. When he turned around, his eyes were filled with a sinister and vicious expression as they looked at Xiao Yin. Clearly, after having lost a great amount of face today, he had completely hated Xiao Yin. Xiao Yin merely smiled in the face of his eyes. A six-star Dozun was indeed powerful, but he was currently not an ordinary person either. Even if this fellow wanted to use some tricks, Xiao Yin would not be afraid of him. Hua Jin saw Yao Hua Yang Jun left in a furious manner. She wanted to retain him but was unable to say anything. After clenching her teeth, she did not follow him. Instead, she turned around and rushed towards a mountain, vanishing in the blink of an eye. The eyes of the white-haired old woman slowly swept over the entire place when she saw these two people leaving. She softly said, From today onwards, Yun Yun shall be the new chief of our flower sect. All the disciples of the flower sect must obey her orders. Otherwise, they will be punished according to the sect rules. Understood. When the voice of the old woman sounded, those densely packed flower sect disciples on the square also hurriedly knelt down. A respectful voice resounded over the place. Greeting to the sect chief. Xiao Yin smiled slightly as he watched the densely packed disciples kneeling down. He looked at Yun Yun, who was feeling some panic and said, Congratulations, Sec Chief Yun Yun. Yun Yun rolled her eyes towards him. She immediately sighed in a distant manner. Each time this fellow appeared, it would cause some changes in her life. He is really an enemy. The ceremony for Yun Yun obtaining the chief position was not very grand. However, with that first elder of the flower sect presiding over it, everything was done in a standard manner. After the ceremony was over, 
Yun Yun had formally become the next sect chief of the flower sect, Xiao Yin was not in a hurry to leave after the ceremony was over. Instead, he got Yun Yun to help him find a quiet room. The hidden resistance within the bone-chilling flame had already completely disappeared. It was the best opportunity to swallow and refine it. Moreover, this flower sect also possessed quite a number of experts present. This was indeed not a bad place to refine the bone-chilling flame. With the increase in the strength of the experts whom Xiao Yin had come into contact with, he needed to raise his strength as quickly as possible. Although he no longer needed to be afraid when facing an expert like Yao Hualiang Jun, his enemy was not Yao Hualiang Jun but the Hall of Soul. Xiao Yin had already witnessed the strength of the 9th Tianzuan and 8th Tianzuan of the Hall of Soul. He clearly understood in his heart that it would likely be an intense big battle should he meet any one of those two. Most importantly, even after the intense fight, his chances of victory was not high. Although Yao Lao had advanced to an elite Bansheng, it was impossible for Xiao Yin to always follow behind Yao Lao. Therefore, raising his own strength was the most important thing. A faint fragrance was being emitted from a cauldron within the quiet room, causing a smoke to linger within it. When one inhaled a gentle breath, all of one's distracting thoughts would disappear from one's mind at this moment. Xiao Yin was quite satisfied with this quiet room. He nodded slightly before sitting down on a stone bed. However, he did not immediately attempt to swallow and refine the bone-chilling flame. His use of the Annihilation Fire Lotus when fighting Yao Hual Yangjun earlier had exhausted quite a lot of his Dou Qi. Refining the bone-chilling flame was not a relaxing task. He naturally had to be well prepared. This training continued for around half an hour before Xiao Yan's tightly shut eyes were finally slowly opened. His eyes had once again regained its calmness. At a glance, they appeared just like an abyss that was without the slightest fluctuation. Who? A mouthful of turbid air was slowly spat out from his throat. A faint glow also surfaced on Xiao Yan's face. Both of his eyes were blinked and traces of dense white flame spread out from deep within his eyes. In the blink of an eye, both of his eyes were already covered by the denso white flame. Refinement, begin? Xiao Yan muttered softly in his mouth. The seal formed by his hand changed. Both of his eyes were slowly shut. Following the shutting of his eyes, the temperature of the room also rose slowly. Xiao Yan's heart possessed quite a great amount of anticipation towards the refinement this time around. Although a heavenly flame of the bone-chilling flame ranking was no longer considered some sumptuous meal after he had swallowed the 3,000 burning flame, it was also not something that he could underestimate. Most importantly, the current flame mantra was already at the D-class high level. He wondered if, after swallowing the bone-chilling flame, it could leap and become a Tian class chi method? 